It's fun to watch. The guy you got to worry about, though, is right in the background of Paz Assault there, and that's Devin Harris. Devin Harris has been really hot for this franchise. So here we go. Bennett Salvador tosses it up. Powell controls it, and Devin Harris got back to keep it away from Vladimir Rodmanovich, who gives it right back. And as Rodmanovich took it away, Bobby Simmons. What a mistake. Kobe gets an early foul on Vince Carter. A good job by Rodmanovich. You know, they stole the pass that was intended for him. But what's he do? Gets right back into the play, steals it right back, and gets the ball back for the Lakers. So Vince Carter with the first foul of the game. 20 on the shot clock for the Lakers with 11.49 to play in the first 12. Just like that, already an early one. You like to see the best day on the floor as Kobe gets the handoff. Flat shot, line drive off the front of the rim, picked up by Bobby Simmons. Lakers shot 51% last game. That was solid, but they gave up 53% to the Sacramento Kings. Well, and Vince Carter had such range on his uh, three-point attempts. I mean, it looks like he's flat-footed, not going to take them. He'll just knock it down. Andrew Bynum on the run out, but it goes right back to Simmons. Second chance? No. And Rod Monovic keeps it away from big Brook Lopez. He's done a good job for them on the glass. Leads him almost eight boards a game. And they need Bobby Simmons to make the open shot. Because with the dribble penetration of Devin Harris, uh, double teams on Vin, he's going to get some looks. Isolation play. Kobe on the step back over Carter. And coming up short. E Jin Ling gets it. So E with his first board of the game. He's been hitting at a high percentage of the last couple after about a five-game slump. Not much offense early for Lopez. So when they go to the post, you don't have to worry about doubling. And now Lopez with a step back. Looked better on the face up. Really looked good on that one, but you know, he had the freedom to shoot that one. The clock is becoming an issue, and all coaches are going to yell at their players, you know, look to the hoop. He comes into the game averaging nine points, seven boards a game. Andrew Bynum now, his first cut to the left hand, coming away empty, picked up by Carter. Lakers split the season set as Carter is hit. Bynum with the foul before he was in the act of shooting. So Andrew Bynum with the first for the Lakers. That's, that's bad news for all bigs. When a guy like Vince is coming at you in the open court, spread floor situation, off the dribble, what do you do? <laughs> and he just gets contact, picks up the foul. Carter, quick release, and a wedge. Pau Gasol in the close, and Kobe behind. He's in Ling. He's got Pau. What a pass by Kobe. Brilliant pass. Lakers even at two on the assist. The importance of the bounce pass, you just can't say enough about it because in quarters like that, that's the only pass that has a chance of getting through. Devin Harris, and he's become quite a scorer for them in the top 10 in scoring, averaging better than 23 a game. And again, the quickness that he possesses, I would love to chart his shots and the ones that he misses going to his right because he's so quick, he doesn't score up his pass going to his right, he doesn't have to score up going to his left. Fish challenge, got it over Devin Harris. So the Lakers with their first lead of the game on the triple by Derek Fisher. <laughs> no look, Simmons, and he was out of bounds. Took a step back to collect that pass and push well, off. That was what he does. He take they take that step back to give him some oomph to push off, and the court isn't getting isn't any larger. The players keep getting bigger. The court stays the same size, and to keep proper spacing, sometimes in the corner, you end up out of bounds. The Lakers by one early. The entry and a hold. He gets the foul on post entry. Now, Pau Gasol. I tell the story to a lot of guys about when he was at the big man's camp when he was only 16, and the pro, some of the pros were talking about, oh, "Come on, let's do. You know he's older than 16." I'm serious. He's only 16. They thought that much of his ability then. So he just continues to grow as a player. He's going to have himself. He, he just has a great future here. Bobby Simmons gambles. Rod Monovich. A little long. And you got to go up. He saw the shot clock. Hillary Gasol on the foul, and Powell's there to clean it up. Over E. Well, an alert play by Vladi. I'm going to have to ask Vladi about that runner, though. A runner that doesn't draw iron. The lob. Lopez on the slam. Andrew Bynum coming over to the opposite side. Brooke Lopez. Nothing Kobe could do about it. 
The first bucket of the game, make it the second for Lopez. Inside, outside, we saw the face up early. And nice seal by Gasol. He's battled away, Lopez came over. Well, you Lopez know, with a clean block. He's a shot blocker, so you have to be aware of where Andrew is. He's going to be free a lot of the time. Andrew Bottom forced the miss from Bobby Simmons. He didn't get that close. Tried to spin it. Didn't even use his left hand. You don't to use your left hand. Use your body. Go into the shot block. Kobe with the offhand, and it didn't get rim with the left hand. So the Lakers by a point. Shooting only three for ten. Now Lopez, man. Bynum got a break. It could have been his second foul of the game. Brooke Lopez got him up and out of position. 8-7, six of the first eight for the California native Brooke Lopez. Here's the advantage, the advantage of that little head fake. Kobe, long deuce, too strong. Lopez cleans it out. Lakers start out extremely cold from the field again, shooting only 27%. Hit Lopez, keeping it alive, but there's Gasol. Heads up, though. Kobe can't get the finish. He couldn't slow down on the acceptance of the pass. And the Lakers asleep. Brooke Lopez alone underneath. Bobby Simmons alertly finding him. So the Lakers down by three. Now that's just court awareness there. The Lakers really fell asleep on that play. I mean, there's no excuse for Lopez to get that uncontested dunk. Early touch. Andrew Biden against the other seven quarter. And right by Brooke Lopez. Well, almost like a step through the way he cleared space. Well, normally he goes to the little, like, jump hook, but he stepped right through the defender and got an easy floater. One-point game. Nets have just been a pain in the neck against the Lakers here at Staples Center. Lopez kept it away from Gasol and hit the bottom of the basket. And he had great position. Well, maybe the Rook rushed. Inside entry early, and Andrew Bynum fouled by Lopez. Andrew, be careful. <laughs> it was a late whistle, and he had something to say. It was late, but better late than never. I mean, maybe sometimes the official was in the in the middle of taking a breath himself. And that's why the whistle didn't sound. But there was no question about the foul. So Andrew will go to the line and shoot two right on the elbow. Does that mean Andrew was that much higher than Lopez? <laughs> Andrew doing a much better job at the free throw line and a big reason that he has had back to back double doubles coming off 15 and 10 if, last game and it was 13 and 13 the game before with five assists out of foul trouble. I mean Andrew I think will be an automatic double double out of bounds last touch by Pau Gasol. He couldn't collect it even though he had a chance against Lopez who had the position. It's tied at 10 very early in this contest. A six and six New Jersey net squad in for their only appearance at Stable Center this season. Carter last pass Kobe all the way to the hole and spins her home. Nifty move by Vince Carter. Well he uses his left hand around the basket as well as anybody. Now on the bottom tip. Gonna be Rodmanovich for a triple. Vladi's got it. Well the glasses worked last game. He had his first three. First two out of three from beyond the arc, and he's got one early tonight. Well, you're giving credit to the glasses. Oh, so I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not superstitious. Radmanovic <laughs> is getting into a groove. They just got to keep him in that groove because they need that threat from the perimeter. As the Nets come into town, it's Lopez making things happen for them to start this game. But for the Lakers, they have some answers in whether it's Andrew or Pau Casol. Fox Sports West presents Lakers basketball brought to you by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Get your MPG at your Southern California Toyota dealer today. By Corona, official sponsor at the timeout. And by the Southern California Mercedes-Benz dealers. I am all for these, what is it, two, two and a half week homestands? Feels that way. The only game on the road was on Turner as an exclusive, so. And don't forget, as the Lakers lead by a point, Right back here at Staples Center after we all, and we're going to need it, exercise Friday afternoon or Friday morning at the Mavericks and the Lakers Friday night on Fox Sports West. All starts with Billy Mack and the guys and Lakers live at 7 o'clock. So join us once again. The Golden State loses. They lose at Washington tonight, 124 to 100. Cleveland led early by 20, won by 119-101. LeBron James at the Garden in New York beat the Knicks. Right now, it's over. And it was a six-point lead late for Oklahoma City. But Phoenix beat them 99-98 in Oak City. Never rooted for the Thunder so much. So inside of six left. Lopez again. 
No. He's already got eight. That's why I said again. Well, how many shots uh, <laughs> is he averaging a game? Because already he's taken, what, five for six shots? That yeah, sometimes six. can distort their offense a bit. Now the Lakers turn it over, and that is their second in the early going. I bring that up because it was so sloppy last game, and all the Lakers talked about that. 30 points off 18 mistakes by the Lakers. Well, think of sloppy. That pass knocked the beverage out of one of the expensive seats. <laughs> Vince Carter got it away quickly before Kobe could close. So Vince Carter showing the good stroke early, and he got inside. That's his second basket of the game. A couple of boards, four points for Carter, averaging 24 a contest. Gasol, good position on E and fouled by Harris. The reach on Devin Harris created the loose ball. That's going to be the fourth team foul. So the Lakers shoot the rest of the way now with 5 7 to play. Let's see how many times they can get to the strike. Eric Fisher was open in the corner, and that's what Powell was trying to do prior to the foul by Devin Harris was get the ball in the corner to Derek Fisher. Shot clock. Short on Kobe. Just saw it in the base up game. Thought he'd go from there. Instead, the runner for Andrew Bynum hit the bottom of the glass. Andrew had already vacated the spot anyway, so. They'll give it a shot, but it should be a turnover. And it is a turnover, actually. The third, he has shown the range and gets the triple. Big guy. And you talked about having him as a 16-year-old. Seven even, 240 pounds. Good stroke, all-around game. A nice acquisition. Uh, Gasol sealed him right out of the play. Bang, good home. Not only sealed him, but just did a textbook. Put the ball in his left hand away from the defender and kissed it home. Two-point lead for E and the Nets. And there's the soft touch we were talking about. But you just well, you just love to watch E run the floor, too, because he can just glide up and down the floor. Little matchup zone. Lakers go to the middle of the floor. Derek Fisher can't burn him. It's kept alive. It comes out to Devin Harris, so they showed a little matchup zone that time. And the Lakers got it in the middle to soft spark. Soft spot, real easy. Vince Carter. So they're red hot. Seven point lead, 22 points on the board, seven for Carter, and 56% from the field inside of four to play. Looks like they're in their matchup again. Andrew Bynum's got to get, get it inside out though. Kobe, nobody denies. He'll take care of it. What a slam by Kobe. Well, found a seam in that uh, zone and just attacked and went right to the right. On the run, Simmons too easy. Another breakdown defensively for the Lakers. Bobby Simmons on the receiving end. A layup, his first basket of the game. Gasol. Good stroke. Five-point game. So they're trading it early and often. Both teams shooting at a solid percentage. The Lakers off of the start, but they picked it up. As they were only three for the first 11. What they have to pick up is their defense. And Devin Harris got to the hole again. He wanted to foul, looked around. Gasol defended it well. Fish finding Andrew Bynum. Nobody at home. Easy one. That's the extra pass you need. Uh, great play by Derek well, Fisher. And that's the running the floor you need out of Andrew. That was just good. He, he outran both Lopez and E down the floor and was able to get himself in a position to get the pass from Derek Fisher. But the Nets starting out knocking down some shots from the perimeter. And that's one of the reasons why they own a three-point lead. Vince Carter. I think he's a little bit heated up from that spot. All of a sudden, E is knocking him down as well. And Kobe gets his first hoop, but it's not from that distance. It's attacking the rim. 2.46 left here in the first quarter. Lakers trailing by three after falling behind by seven, trying to make a little bit of a push on the New Jersey Nets. That man, Kobe Bryant, made a push to get his first hoop. Our Cars Jr. Exmo. Shows you what Brooke Lopez was looking at. He says, ooh, I don't think I can get to it. He pulls his hand down instead of picking up the and one. So Kobe with his first two of the spectacular variety. You know, Kobe coming off a solid game on you know, the matchup, the last one on Sunday night. But the Lakers across the board, their starters played well. Second unit, surprisingly, even though they had plenty of offense from the second unit, they gave up big leads. Lakers were up by 19 early in the fourth. All the way down to four at 105-101, and it necessitated Phil Jackson bringing the regulars back into the game as Jordan Farmar and Lamar Odom, Trevor Reza come in for the first Let's time. Let's see what happens now with the shooting percentage. There's 246 to go in the quarter. The New Jersey Nets are 11 out of 20, 55% from the field. 
little quicker lineup on the floor now for the Lakers. Let's see if that challenges the shooting percentage of the Knicks. And after that slow start for the Lakers, they started three of 11. They picked it up. They've hit six of their last eight. There's a good view of uh, Radmanovich's uh, right eye where he got poked a couple of games ago. Keon Dooley, former Missouri Tiger, in for the first time. Also, Jarvis Hayes is the miss is picked up by Ariza. Nice challenge by Lamar on Vince Carter. Now Dooley up against Kobe. You find Powell batting away. Ariza is fouled, and how about the block? Sean Williams picking up the foul, but. Not too shabby on the block. You know, that's what he can do. Ooh. In this league, that you'll find a number of players on each team that are bona fide high wire acts. I mean, and Mr. Williams is one. Goes up, rejects the shot by Powell Casal, tries to get the one by Trevor, but Trevor attacked in the right way. Go right at the shot blockers, try to hammer one on him. And Trevor, high 60 percentage. Too low. Yeah, 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 and at the free throw line, and he knows it. And, and Sean Williams, if you were to ask who was out of the group they've got, they're 14 15 right now for the New Jersey Nets, and you said, well, who are the only three that were there at the start of the year? You wouldn't figure it'd be Sean Williams. As Trevor, boy, touched everything, he gets it to go. That's but Vince Carter, Josh Boone, two, and the third is Sean Williams. One reason why Trevor got that ball to bounce, he had a nice arc on the shot. And gave him an opportunity to bounce it in. Hayes over Pau Gasol. Ryan Anderson, Pac 10's leading scorer out of Cal last year, Sacramento native. Well, He's in for the first time. Trevor ga gambled on that play, paid a price. Break for the Lakers as Pau Gasol is fouled. They fronted Williams, fronted Gasol. They almost took it away from behind as Vince Carter came over, but it went right back to Gasol. Well, the difference with the front, when you know you're going to have situations where you front, you have to communicate that to your team so that the guy guarding the passer can get in a smother position. In other words, you just smother the guy at top. You don't worry about a bounce pass because obviously they're not going to throw a bounce with a front. You want to make sure they can't throw it over the top. Good man to have at the free throw line. Pau Gasol, the first of two. You can win a pair of tickets to an upcoming Lakers home game. Courtesy of Verizon Wireless. Enter text Lakers to 66196 by the end of this evening's game. One winner per contest. Sweepstakes is open. The residents of LA, Ventura, Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange Counties. You have to be 18, though. And for all the rules, just head over to the website, thelakers.com. So Gasol coming through at the strike. Two point game. And. Anderson gets inside. Big kid Ryan Anderson at 6'10, 240 pounds, played two years at Cal. Left after his sophomore season. First round pick of the Nets, 21st overall. And he's another good looking shooter for this team. Kobe, real star. As Kobe has started the game one for seven. Getting a little bit too much juice in his legs right now. I mean, all of his shots have basically been long. Kobe's got the foul. Carter had the position and the first step. As Kobe is going to head over to the bench, Sasu Vujicic will be checking in. Kobe in his 13 previous matchups with Vince Carter, he's never been able to really shoot that well. 39%. In fact, both guys, maybe they both try a little bit too hard because it's identical what they shoot against each other. But Carter off to a real good start tonight. So the Nets with the basketball, Kobe to the bench. That's his first foul. Now Ariza tracking Carter, but that was Jordan Farmer who got his hand on top of the basketball. Dueling. And Anderson, end of the shot clock. Over the glass, but that didn't deter Trevor Ariza. Well, you play to the whistle. You don't anticipate just because it's over the glass, it's out of bounds. Just out of the reach of Carter. Man. Kept away from Pau Gasol by Hayes. Good job. He couldn't control it, but he tapped it across. So the Nets. Even on the boards, but out shooting the Lakers. And it was deflected. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Pagasol. Pointed one way, but it's going to stay in this end of the floor. And it was off Gasol. It may have Grace Williams, too, because he was right behind Gasol, but Pau got a piece uh, of it. That was a tough call for the, out of, the official on the baseline because he was uh, kind of boxed out by the bodies. That's why he has uh, a teammate, so to speak. That had a better view. So that's, that's called teamwork. Yeah, Leon Wood helped out Bennett Salvatore. Anderson had the easy shot. You know, smart play by Jordan Farmar. Maybe couldn't control it. Well, those he little, decided to let it go. Those little shovel passes in close quarters uh, sometimes can be hard to handle, and that is the case in point. Plus, it had a little bit of steam on it. Now, two for one for the Lakers. Now, you saw against the shot blocker. 
It was taken away by Carter. Carter got his hand on the ball on his way up. But Powell wasn't going to shoot that one. He was looking to pass. You, you can't jump looking to pass. So now Vince Carter slowing it down. Four second differential. Shot clock and game clock. Carter creating contact and a turnover. Jordan Farmar, he's got Sasha on one side, Ariza on the other, the trader. And they lost it. Can they get it up in time? No. So that's the way to land the first 12 minutes of play for the Lakers. Trailing New Jersey, the Nets hitting 54%, well, leading by four. There was an example of how not to run a fast break because Jordan and Powell were running side by side. It was uh, almost like, who's to pass for? And as it turns out, the Lakers get absolutely nothing to end the quarter. They go into the second, trailing by four.